The MACD is a trend-following momentum indicator. It shows the relationship between two moving averages, defined as a short-term and a long-term moving average. In this daily euro dollar chart, we have set the short-term moving average to 13 days and the long-term moving average to 26 days. These parameters are the most commonly used ones and are set as default on your LCG platform. The MACD is computed by subtracting the long-term exponential moving average from the short-term exponential moving average. The most commonly used moving averages are 26-day for the long-term and 13-day for the short-term. The 9-day exponential moving average is referred as the signal line and is generally used to trigger a buy or a sell signal for trend-following traders. The MACD is most commonly used to detect the current momentum. When the MACD is above the zero line, meaning that the short-term average is above the long-term average, the asset price is considered to be in a bullish momentum phase. Contrarywise, the MACD under the zero line indicates at a bearish momentum phase. Traders may be willing to watch the reversal in momentum following the MACD indicator. The red line on this chart stands for the signal line. The yellow line is referred to as the main line. A buy signal is triggered when the MACD crosses over the signal line, suggesting that the upside momentum should push the asset price higher. Conversely, a sell signal is triggered when the MACD breaks below the signal line, indicating that the strengthening downside momentum is likely pulled the asset price to further lows. When the asset price diverges from the MACD, it is perceived as the end of the current trend, suggesting that it may be an opportune time to close a trend following trade or open a position on the opposite direction. We can see an example of divergence at this area, where the MACD turns positive as the euro dollar continues trending lower. Yet not for too long. Sometimes a dramatic rise or fall in MACD could be used as a signal that the asset may have been overbought or oversold, hinting that a price correction could well be on the way, as we can see at this area. The MACD is a popular oscillator and, as its name suggests, it is useful when the underlying asset price follows a trend and or oscillates. Traders should be aware that the MACD is a lagging indicator as it is computed on historical prices and could be confusing in choppy market conditions.